Hello, this is Noreen Crone Finlay from cronefindlay.com and toddytalkscrafts.com. Cronefindlay.com is my um, website. That's where you can find and buy all my beautiful designs and ebooks and PDFs and marvelous things. So do go check that out, please and thank you. And toddytalkscrafts.com is my blog. Now that's where I post all the support material for the various blogs. Uh, video tutorials. Oh boy, you know, I really debated about whether I was going to do this video tutorial or not, because there is definitely a mystique about tapestry bobbins. Tapestry bobbins are gorgeous, and they're also oh so expensive too. Now, the thing is, for me, I need a lot of bobbins. Now I've already posted about um, different bobbins that I have made. Let's see, I'll just put this here and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop and I'm going to get rid of the backdrop here so it's a little easier to see and push the camera down and then I'll edit this in. Okay, see you in a second. All right, we're back. Now I have posted another video about how I make my, uh, um, well I guess it was not a video, it was a blog post with a million photographs showing how I carve my little uh, tapestry bobbins that I, I need a lot of them because I use, I, I tend to like to work in short, um, short spaces and so I need a lot of bobbins with all my different colors and um, I love them they just they work beautifully for me now I um, noticed uh, a couple of bobbins that I quite like that I made a few years ago um, their, their shapes this one is slightly eccentric but it works I noticed hmm these are kind of spoon like and I thought more so than the ones I've been making lately. And so I had the thought, oh, can I? Should I? Oh, I don't know. And I thought, well, look, a bobbin is simply a yarn delivery system, okay? So I took a little coffee spoon that I had gotten in a bunch of sandbox toys at a yard sale for my grandson. And you can see, you know, spoon-like, silver spoon. And the poor thing has been played with in sandboxes, and so it's uh, sadly in woeful condition. So I just hammered the little coffee spoon flat, thinking, ah, this, I, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but it does. So coffee spoons hammered flat make, especially now you're going to have to have ones that have a very simple plain end. And this one's just perfect. It's almost hooked and it's just lovely for tapping down the warp. So yeah, you know what? Spoons work. They work great. Um, here's something that's also very common and works quite well as a bobbin too. And it is just a four inch nail with a bead stuck on the end. I put a little bit of um, tissue in there just to hold it firmly in place. And um, the weight of them is really nice. I had to file a burr off the uh, tips of them though. I find that they do have a little bit of um, barkiness to them. Uh, I wash them first and I think it's probably a better idea to use um, darker yarns on them just in case you risk um, discoloration. Now here is something I learned about on Ravelry with my own version of it. Um, this is a bamboo, they're just called bamboo forks or pochette de bamboo and you get 40 of them for less than two dollars and they make terrific um, tapestry bobbins if you stick a bead 
on the forky end. Um, I had some beads that were big enough to go on the top end, but I really like having a bead on them because it stops the uh, yarn from um, volunteering to pop off. And uh, I, I find them surprisingly useful. They're great. So I say, you know, bamboo forks. As long as you stick a bead on the end, um, the ones that I saw in Ravelry, people hadn't put a bead on them. I really uh, do think that the bead on the end is a good idea. So that's another cheap and cheerful alternative to uh, tapestry bobbins. Now, I love to tat and I do make uh, tatting shuttles. These are little bird tatting shuttles that I made years ago and I haven't been using them in my tatting and, but I find they work just beautifully as uh, tapestry bobbins. So there you have it. There's a bunch of outside the box, totally alternative, wild and wonderful, but oh, so useful. Cheap and cheerful tapestry bobbins. So I'm not saying don't uh, treat yourself to gorgeous bobbins. Tapestry bobbins do for sure. And, you know, tell your family, I want them. But in the meantime, feel free to be experimental and to think outside the box. And even if it's like the sandbox where you find a little silver spoon. So happy weaving and uh, feel free to be creative. Be brave. It's worth it. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.